Would you have students, were there exercises that you would have them do in order to build that skill? Well, there are different ways of teaching. Mm -hmm. um, I, I used to have a, a, a way of teaching, particularly beginning students. Uh, I'd say, you know, uh, start out making open bowls. First of all, they're, they're, they're fairly easy to make. And uh, secondly, they, you, you can experiment with forms and they'll, uh, they'll all be uh, somehow uh, somewhat usable for an open bowl. And uh, I didn't worry too much about the technique of throwing. I taught them how to center play, how to open it, and all that sort of thing, how to pull up. But from then on, it's a case of experience. Um, and at the end of the school year, and, and I, I taught this way, there was another instructor in school, and he, ta he taught a different way. And he taught the student, he said, okay, beginning student, never seen clay in their life. He said, uh, you're going to take a one pound ball of clay, and you're going to make a cylinder, perfect cylinder out of it, and it's going to be, you know, three and a half inches uh, in diameter and six inches tall. And you have to do that before you go on doing anything else. And those poor kids, they struggle like hell to make those six inch cylinders. The six inch cylinder is not difficult to make, but it's hard for a beginning student to make. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of very frustrated students. Uh, however, if I had my students and they went on beyond the first semester, then they come back and they begin, you know, they can throw and they begin to get a little bit smart alecky. And say, okay, you get in the third semester, I'd say, I want one of these pots made exactly like this out of so much clay to such and such a size. And I would demonstrate one of the leech pottery pots for them. And I could pick any one it was. It might be a mug, it might be a little vase. Uh, a favorite one was a, a small vase. And I'd, I'd sit down and throw a demonstration piece. And these kids who thought they were really capable of making pots, they suddenly found they couldn't. Because I'd encourage them to explore and all. And then they had to face up to, now you have to learn the technique and push your technique. But I, I, I thought that the technique would follow. If they were serious, the technique would follow. And so I never worried about it.